Good evening. Teacher, the microphone apagado. Sorry, I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> How are you? How are you tonight? Ooh, How do you good feel this day? Good evening, Miss. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Nevi, Blanca, Evelyn. Uh, we have Kevin, Adrian, Kenya. Who else we have? Selva, Patricia. Welcome, everyone. Right, sure. Hey, welcome to your session. Welcome to your class. Ready to continue? As always, right? Welcome, Glenda. We have Kenya also. Welcome. All right. Remember that yesterday we were studying about simple present, right? And we had affirmative, we have the negative form. We saw also that depending on the subject is that we have the auxiliaries. We saw the irregular verbs. We also saw some examples. We uh, did exercise. We watched the video. But now we need to continue. Remember that we did this one, right? In the platform. But let's remember about it. An example of the exercise. It says, as an example. Well, right. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Welcome to your class. How are you? Everything all right? Yes, everything cool. Everything blue, say the people. <laughs> Uh, good, evening. <laughs> good evening, welcome. We have Rebecca Vanessa. Welcome, guys. Okay, we have this full, one. Energy. full energy, right? As the battery of the cell phone. <laughs> <We're> full <laughs> energy. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yes. <laughs> As in the instruction, Murió mi computadora. really. So, you are on the cell phone. Or a new computer. Ya, ya después de seis años. Ah, okay, but it was functioning six ya. years. It was a good computer. Una nueva ya. A new computer, right? Ya, era, ya, <laughs> ya toca. Ya it toca comprarse necessary. una. It's true, it was necessary. Sí. Yes. All right, so we have the example. Conversation one. My parents. A house oh. in the suburbs. Which is it? No. Have, right? Because my parents is plural form. If you want to substitute my parents, what subject do you use? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Which one? They. They. they, perfect. Because it's plural. Third person, but plural, right? So my parents have a house in the suburbs. That's right. And the rest in the platform. Let's go ahead then. To continue, now with question forms. Simple present question form. How do we formulate questions in the simple present? We have two types of questions. Yes, no questions and WH questions. Let's remember that in yes, no questions, we are going to confirm if the information that you investigate is affirmative and negative. So it's limited. It's a limited answer. But in the WH question, I investigate a specific information. So you don't say yes or no, right? You need to concentrate on what the person investigates. What is the structure? In the yes, no question, we have auxiliary, do and does, depending on the subject. Then we have the verb. The verb, you're going to use it in the base form. Why base form? because you are going to use auxiliary. The rest is object or complement or the rest of the question. Plus the question mark, because it's an interrogation. So you investigate, you need a question mark. In the WH question, you need to include WH words like what time, where, why, who, when, right? All of those depending what you investigate. After that, you use all these complements. Auxiliary, do or does, depends on the subject, plus the verb in the base form. Then you have the object or the complement or the rest of the question. It's a question, so you include the question mark. Do you have question in this part?
No, me. No? Okay. Now, let's see some examples with questions. Simple present questions. This is the order or the formula that you have. Do you get up early? What is get up? Remember what is get up? The alarm you rings know? in the morning. Uh -huh. Despertarse. Different. Despertarse that means wake up. When the alarm rings in the morning, ring, ring in the morning, mm -hmm. and you, I oh, know, five more minutes. Wake up. Levantar. Open your, uh -huh, that's good. Get up, levantarse. Decían en una radio antes, no es lo mismo despertarse que levantarse. Totally different, right? <laughs> Get up, you decide to stand up from the bed. But wake up, you come back from the sleep. So do you get up early? It can be an affirmative or negative, right? Suppose that is negative. No, I get up late. Early, remember that means temprano. ¿Te levantas temprano? No, me levanto tarde. Late, tarde. That's the contrary. This will be the third person because you have does. Why? Because the subject is he. It's a third person singular, the one that you have here. Does he have lunch at noon? No. He eats lunch at one o'clock. Yeah. Remember that noon is like in the middle of the day at 12 p.m. Mediodía. Perfect. One o'clock is the afternoon already, right? That's why it's negative. Do they drive to work? And the answer is affirmative. And it says, yes, they drive to work every day. In the case of the WH question, you have, what time do you get up? Now it's a specific. At 10 o'clock, what time does he have lunch? Now this question is about their person. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock, when do they drive to work? Every day. So it's every single day, todos los días, right? Because it investigates like in which occasion, en qué ocasión, cuando. That's every day. Now let's have some questions only with the yes, no question to investigate, affirmative or the negative. Do I speak fast? We have the answer. Suppose that is negative. I investigate about myself, right? Cuando usted quiere investigar acerca de usted mismo, hablo rápido. Do I speak fast? And another person answers, no, you don't. You speak slowly. Or you speak normally. Hablas lentamente. O hablas normalmente, right? No fast, no slow. Normally. Do you run in the morning? No. I run in the afternoon. So this is negative. But also it's possible that you give the information. Not in the morning, but in the afternoon. Do we have vacation in December? We, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, here you can also answer like in a short form. You could say, yes, we do. Short answer. Si la respuesta es corta, siempre vamos a terminar en el auxiliar. Dependiendo de mi sujeto. Como mi sujeto es we, entran eh, con esos sujetos, con ese auxiliar. Are you with they? Do. He, she, it? Does. Does is only for third person singular. He, she, it. Now, if you ask the question, do we have vacation in December? Yes, we do. Do your friends like action movies? Possible answer. Miss? Yes, tell me. En el caso de, de ahí, eh, podemos completar la oración. Yes, we do vacation in December. We have. We have. Because it's complete. That will be another option. Yes. Es corta, es if we, we, yes, we do. Hasta we do. Ahí. Exactly. Hasta Cuando ahí. es corta, vamos a finalizar en el auxiliar. Hasta ahí. Es como que, eh, sí, las tenemos. That's it. Or if you want to give complete answer, you need to include the form of the verb. Yes, we have vacation. In December. But that is complete. 
Thank you, Miss. You are very welcome. In the next question, do your friends like action movies? Kevin, give us a possible answer, please. Do your friends like action movies? Yo. Kevin. No, Kevin. 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 Sí, ese, la confusión siempre me pasa cuando dicen Nelly, ok. <laughs> ok, no, I said Kevin. Ok. They sound similar. That is a question, Miss. Ah, yes, the question is, do your friends like action movies? We need yes. to analyze the subject. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, we... No, you, your friends. Only ah, your friends. I'm... Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, they... Mm. Yes, they... ¿Cómo sería ahí? As if you want to give a short answer, finish with the auxiliary. So, yes, they do or does? They uh, do. Do, yeah. exactly. Because my subject is they. So, it cannot be does, right? Because it's your friends. It's a plural subject. That will be the short answer. But if it's complete, if it's complete answer. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Una, una pregunta. Eh, acabo de oír que usted dijo, I, you, we, they, es do. Ah, the auxiliary that you need. En, en auxiliar. If you use the, the subjects, I, you, we, and they, the auxiliary is do. Do. Ajá. Uh -huh. she, the she, it. Das. Es dos. Das. 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 Ajá, okay. Right. So, third okay. person singular. He, she, it. You need to formulate the question with us. And the rest of the sentence yeah. we use do. Yes. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, so we have it. Do your friends like action movies? Yes, they do. Or you can give a complete answer. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. We your friends, your friends. Huh? Are you? Yes, your they. Friends. Yes, they. Yes, they. Um complete. Yes, they like. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. They like action movies. That's correct. Because you only confirm affirmative or negative. So you don't need to include more information. Yes, they like action movies. Action movies. And that will be short answer or it can be also long answer, but what happens if the answer is negative? You could say, no, they don't. They don't. If it's short answer, then if this one is negative, it's necessary to use it contraction. So it cannot be, no, they do not. That will be incorrect. Contraction, negative, short answer. Si la respuesta es corta y esta es negativa, es necesario que vaya a contactar. Ahora, si la respuesta es corta, puede ir de ambas formas. Y la gramática en inglés lo permite. Y si es larga, es si es larga, de... puede, puede ser las dos formas, si es completa. Pero si es corta, sí, incluso se escucha raro. No, they do not. They do not what? Suena como que va a seguir la información. So you need to include the verb. So these options are correct. Now let's see with the third person. Does your father work in a restaurant? Suppose that is negative. Say, no, he doesn't. This is short answer. Also, you can give like the correct information. So you say, no, he doesn't. He works in a hospital. This is only extra information, right? That is not necessary. No es necesaria, pero es información extra. It's optional. Now, in this one, does the doctor give good medicine? What is the subject? The doctor. Excellent. Doctor. That's good. What is the auxiliary? Das. Das. Perfect. What is the verb? Blanca, what is the verb? Give. Give, uh -huh, because this one represents the action, right? What is the form of the verb? Is with S form or with the base form? 
Base. In the base form, right? Why base form if it's third person? Why the base form? Because you have auxiliary, right? As you have auxiliary, you don't need the S in the verb. So incorrect will be, does the doctor gives? No, porque ya tengo el auxiliar. Si el auxiliar está acá, entonces el verbo va a ir en su forma base. No necesito el verbo en tercera persona de nuevo. For that reason, it's auxiliary because helps the verb. Yes? Now, give me affirmative repeat, answer. Repeat. Yes? Repeat, please. Repeat? Sure. As you have here, the auxiliary does, then the verb is base form. Es forma base. Why? Because you have auxiliary. In the question, is obligatory to have an auxiliary. But you don't have the verb with S. Recordemos que utilizamos S form solo cuando es afirmativa. O una respuesta afirmativa también. Pero acá ya tengo mi auxiliar. En la pregunta siempre se utiliza el auxiliar. Por lo tanto, el verbo siempre va a ir en forma base. Yes? So, Miss, no es. What do you say give? Give. How do you say give in Spanish? Yes. In Spanish, that means dar, dar o entregar. Okay. That's give. So, does the doctor give good medicine, Judy? Let's say that is affirmative. Yes. yes, he does. Okay, that's good. This is your answer. That's good. Yes, he does. That's correct. Good. What if it's like a complete answer? If it's complete answer, Evelyn? Can yes. You ah, perdón. Perdón. Thank you, thank you. Eh, sería the doctor, yes, the doctor give good medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's analyze this one. Yes. Let's suppose that the doctor is a she. Because remember, it can he. be he or she, right? Okay, let's say that is he. He, and you said give, right? Yes. Give. 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 Good. Good medicine. medicine. That's good. Okay, let's analyze. Is it correct or incorrect? Yes, he give good medicine. Incorrect. Incorrect. Why? Well, the lies and gives. Excellent. That's correct. Why? Because now it's affirmative. Look, in the affirmative, don't have auxiliary. For that reason, I need the verb in the S form. Yes, he gives good medicine. What if this one is negative? And it's short answer. Yo misma, teacher. Okay. Is he scored that thing? No. He doesn't, right? If it's short answer. Uh -huh. Doesn't. Doesn't if it's short. But also you can give the complete negative. How would be the complete negative? No. Uh huh. No. Maria Emilia? It's not. Me. Eh, sería no. Ajá. Uh -huh. No he. The right. No he. Ajá. Uh -huh. Give good medicine. But negative. Negative. Because you're saying that no, right? No. He. Uh, you need auxiliary. I'm not. Doesn't. Does. Doesn't. Does. Doesn't. Remember? Doesn't. Auxiliary does for third does. person. But you can make a contraction and apostrophe T. Pero si la quiere negative. continuar, Miss, eh, puede ser do not. Si la mm. quiere continuar. No do not, because remember that the subject is he. Do not is only with the subjects I, you, we, and they. Sí. Yes, and you're referring to he. So the correct auxiliary is does. But it's negative. You need to use like, no, he doesn't. What else? Good if it's medicine. complete. Good medicine. But you need the verb because it's complete. Give. Give, Give. Uh -huh. Porque ahora la respuesta es completa. 
en la que se incluye el verbo. You use give or gives? Give. Give, give right? Give. Because you have auxiliary. That is correct. No. Se pierde la S en la, en, la, en la forma negativa. Correct, because you have auxiliary. Porque ya lo tiene. Exactly. Porque ya va el auxiliar. En la afirmativa no, porque no uso el auxiliar. Ah. Does not give good medicine. Good medicine. Bad doctor, medicine. right? No, he doesn't give good medicine. So that will be the possibilities. Now, let's see in the next part. Does the cat sleep with you? Glenda, Glenda Guadalupe, does the cat sleep with you? Glenda, are you present? Hello. Alba Marisol? Sería, yes, it is. No, because it's not the verb to be. Remember here is other types of verbs. Oh. Does the Sería. cat stay with you? In this case, the subject is the cat. Yes, it do. Yes, it, third person. It, that, it does. Does, does. Uh -huh. yes. correct. Because it's third person singular. Yes, it does. What is if it is a complete answer? And it's affirmative. Sleep oh, with me. Sleeps, right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. The subject. You can use the subject and also to say the cat, or also you can say like, uh, let's suppose that you want to put emphasis on the gender, if it's masculine or feminine. You can say also he or she. Para especificar el género del animal, también podemos referirnos a él o ella. Suppose that is he. Yes, he, and what is the verb? Sleep. Sleep, good. Is that correct, the verb? Sí. No. Le falta S. No, no. Le falta la S. Excellent, because it's affirmative. That is correct. Yes, he sleeps. What else? Compliment? With me. With me, perfect. That's correct. Yes, he does. Yes, he sleeps with me. So that could be short answer, but also it could be complete answer. Questions? Any questions about that? This is the case of yes, no questions. <clears throat> este, okay. Una pregunta. Este, yes. ¿Cuándo es que va das? En das I, yes. you... Uh, no, you are going to use this auxiliary when you refer to the subject, he, she, uh -huh. or it. Only these three subjects is corresponding to the third person singular. He, she, and it. Y el do es para I, you, we. I, you, we, and they. It's like uh -huh. here. I, you, we, and they. In the case of your friends, is they. Okay, okay, As is okay. possible that you can mention uh, the subject pronoun, like we, but also it's possible that you can mention the specific names of the persons or a specific subject, like friends, uh, my mother, my sister, uh, Carla, Josue, a specific subjects. Thank you, Mitch. You are very welcome. Okay, let's continue then. Practice it. Miss. Yes, tell me. Nos envía video, Miss, porque... Ah, yeah, sure. No he entendido bien, bien el... el, el... The structures. Como... Ah, exacto. Ah, yes, no problem. I will send you. ¿Han visto lo que le, los que les envié? Ayer me parece que les envié unos. ¿Los han estado viendo? Sí, Miss, pero yes. hubo un okay. ejercicio, creo que fue el 13 o el 12... Que no lo comprendí. 12. Ese era el que estaban en la agenda web. Sí, eso. Sí. Ah, ok. Lo vamos a verificar entonces. I'm going to check it. Ya le digo. It was, it. it was exercise 12. 12. 
well in agenda web. De las oraciones afirmativas, era mis, del de el 13. Okay. Ah, it was 13. Sí, okay. No, no, no le... Affirmative sentences. Okay. I'm going to check it then. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy. Okay. Let's start then with the practice here. The first one. Do you walk to work? Alba Marisol, are you present? Do you walk to work? Affirmative or negative? Mm. Hello? Yes, do work. Yes? What is the do subject? Work. Do you walk to work? Camina hacia el trabajo? Do you walk to work? Yes, I. If it's affirmative, right? Yes, I. I walk. I walk. Okay, if this one is short, work. then you finish with, yes, I do. But if the answer is complete, yes, I walk to work. I will be um, short answer or yes, complete answer. Fernando, do you walk to work? Affirmative or negative? Fernando de Jesus, are you present? Glenda, Glenda Guadalupe, are you there? Teacher, a le está fallando el inter. They have problems, right, with the connection, yes. Eh, sería la primera pregunta, teacher. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Do you walk to work? Affirmative or negative? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. That is affirmative form. That's nice. Okay. Aaron, continue with the next one. Do your parents visit their neighbors? Yes, I do. No, you. Your parents. What are oh. parents? Oh, um, they. Yes. Um, they. They, you can use, yeah? They, because it's plural. They fathers. My parents, parents. My, my parents. Aha, uh -huh, okay, yes. My parents. My parents. Uh, so I said a day. No. no. It can be one of the options. You could say also, yes, they. Because they substitute your parents. Yes, they. And now you use the action. Ellos. Visit their neighbor. That's good. Uh -huh. Este sería un subject pronoun. Este sustituye al, al nombre del que estamos mm. investigando, como para evitar la repetición. Al yes. sujeto. Uh, exactly. Papá, That is my subject. Uh -huh. Yes. So I, this is to substitute. Este es para sustituirlo. Para o sea, que si decimos they parents. sustituye a los parientes. En este caso, parents son mamá y papá. Ah, es padres. Yes. Parientes son relatives. Mm -hmm. It's like this. Let me show you what are this one. Relatives. Pero ahí mismo me se podría acortar la respuesta. Como solo yes, they do. Perfect. You can do it. Yes, they do. Yes, correct. Eso tenía yo también. Yes, you can ah, use the si, two si forms. Solo, y si solo queda yes, they do, ¿cómo se, cómo se escucha entonces? Sí, sí lo hacen. Y como ya está la acción en la pregunta, ya está poniendo énfasis. Ya no es necesario solo repetirlo. Está solo está confirmando lo que está haciendo. Exacto, lo que hace. No lo que está haciendo. Cuando son conversaciones, time. perdón, mis. Go ahead. Cuando son conversaciones fluidas, entonces esas son las respuestas. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Es más fluido. Pero a veces si uno utiliza mucho, yes, I am, or yes, I do, no, I don't, suena como un tanto, right, muy repetitivo, Robótico. yes, I do, robotic, ajá, correct, tedious, como boring, aburrido, como sin ganas de hablar, right? Okay. <laughs> only, de only depends on the situation, right? Too. right? No no se puede uno como, so, en toda la conversación, no, yes, Pero, I do, no, I don't, sí. yes, I do, yes, I do. <laughs> 
Ya, pero, ya. Teacher, lo que, pero yo siento que a veces aún los, 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 los propios, los gringos nativos, si lo podemos llamar así, se les escucha, no sé, como bien robotizado, como que, ajá, como que sin ganas de hablar. They don't pero want lo, to hacen, lo hacen así como bien simple. Yes, ajá. they do. Yes, I do. O sea, solamente, y no sé, como que ya... Go ya to the es... answer. Ajá, Go o sea, no... Answer. Bien simple. Yeah, it's very simple. Yes, but what happens is that it, when we are learning and practicing the language, it's necessary to practice the vocabulary. So no, no es muy bueno como acostumbrarse solo como, yes, I do, no, I don't, porque si no, uno no practica el vocabulario, se acostumbra a la simplicidad. Para eso son las respuestas largas, para that practicar is correct. el vocabulario. That is correct. Uh -huh. to practice vocabulary y pues se pueden mezclar verdad en una conversación para que no suene si también tan repetitivo se utilizan las eh, short answers you can use them all right so here you have yes they do what about their person let's answer this question that we have Kenya it says does an elephant fly Yes. Does an elephant fly? They... <laughs> Only Dumbo, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> yeah, by the ears, right? Dumbo. Only in Dumbo. <laughs> Only in movies is possible. <laughs> no, it doesn't, right? That's correct. No, Teacher. Tell me. How do you say neighbor? Neighbor. Neighbor means vecino. If it's plural, in this case, it's plural. Vecinos. Vecinos. Like yes. Like the TV program. We have a TV program that is Mexican. Vecinos. Those are neighbors. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Let's see the next one. We have, <clears throat> does your best friend live abroad? Somebody who has a best friend. Nevi, does your best friend live abroad? Abroad? Abroad means in a different country. Not in El Salvador, but in Guatemala, the United States, Canada, different country that is not El Salvador. Cualquiera. Yes, that's correct. But it's a yes, no question, right? Does your best friend live abroad? Just that your best friend is possible. That is he or she, right? So that's affirmative or negative? Yes. Uh -huh. Aha. They, they do. They do. It's, it's only one. It's only one best friend. Ah, uh -huh. perdón. Eh... I? No, you. It's your best friend. It's a different subject. It's a third person. Yes, my. He, he said here, yeah, right? Okay. It's possible he or she, right? Yes. Yes? Yes. Que es mejor amiga yes, o mejor amigo. It's possible. Cualquiera de los dos. Oh, exactly. You don't put emphasis. Yes, Ahora, si queremos poner yes. emphasis, es él o ella, entonces mencionamos el nombre. Like, el pronombre. Does, el nombre. El nombre. Ah, el nombre, like, correcto. Uh -huh. Does your best friend Ana, for example. Does uh -huh. your best friend Luis. Ajá, entonces sería, yes, she does. Yes, she does. 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 That's good. Okay, what about if this one is complete answer? Complete. Yes, yeah. sería, yes, she does. Yes, she. She lives. She lives. Okay, live. What else? Yes. Excellent. Eso. That's what I, I'm going to ask you a question. Ya voy a preguntar, okay? <laughs> Live. Abroad. 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 That's correct. Good. Lives because it's affirmative and it's complete. Solo en la completa y afirmativa es que va a llevar es el verbo. Oh, si, es, eh, si es corta, entonces llego hasta el, eh, el auxiliar. Yes, yeah, she lives abroad. Uh -huh. That is all right. Good one. This is in the case of yes, no questions. Is case abroad. In another country. En el extranjero. 
So thank you. <laughs> Very welcome. Okay, let's take some minutes to pass the attendance list. So let me know if you are present. Okay, let's begin. Aaron Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you. Alba Marisol. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you so much. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Yesenia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fer eh, yes, Fernando de Jesus. Fernando de Jesus, are you present? Present this in el, in el um, Oh, in chat. the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Glenda Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you, Glenda. Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Thank you. Kenia Vanessa. Present, me. Thank you, Kenia. Kevin Adrián. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kevin. Maria Emilia. Present. Thank you, Melba Patricia. Melba Present Patricia. Teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi Solina. Here, Miss. Thank you, girl. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Rebecca Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you, Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thanks a lot. Sandra Margarita. Sandra Margarita. <coughs> Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline. Judy Edith. Present, Miss. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's go on with our topic. All right, so we work with the yes, no questions. Let's go ahead with the WH questions. This type of questions, remember that you investigate a specific information. So you don't answer like a yes or no, right? In this one, you have WH words, like this, WH words, auxiliary, subject, and the verb in the base form. And we have the examples here. You have, where do you work? I work in a restaurant. So you see, it's not a yes or no, right? We start with the subject. What time do your siblings go to school? They go to school at 8 o'clock in the morning. Another possibility will be at 8 o'clock in the morning. This one is like to be specific. You concentrate on the information and that's it. When do you play basketball? I play basketball on weekends. So there we answer with this. Now, in the other case will be with their person. What time does the mechanic open the workshop? A specific information at 8 a.m. But what if we want to give like a complete answer? How will you do it? How would you answer it? How would you answer? Judy? This is like a short answer, but if you want to give complete answer, how will you use? You need to include the verb. He. Okay, that's good. He. He. Action. Immediately after subject, action. Verb. He opened. He opened. Open. Is that correct? Open. He opened. Open, right? Excellent. Open, perdón. Opens, opens, open. not opening. He opening, open. no. He, and that's good. He opened uh -huh. the workshop. Very good. The workshop. At 8 
o'clock. At eight o'clock. Excellent. That's good. Eight o'clock. And there you have a complete answer. So in the complete answer, you include the subject, you include the verb in the third person form, right? Because you have the S form and the complement. What is a workshop? What is a workshop? Mechanical. Uh, mechanic, mechanic is the person, but the workshop is the area. Excellent, that is correct. That's a workshop, correct. Now, the next one. Which restaurant does your uncle visit every day? Which restaurant does your uncle visit every day? Possible answer. Blanca, give us a possible answer, please. First, you need to analyze what is the subject, right? What is the subject? Uncle. Uncle, excellent. What is uncle? Tío. Excellent, that's good, okay. So, to substitute, you use he, she, or it? He. he. Perfect, that's correct. He. 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 What else? Now I include the action. Uh, Visit. 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 That's good. All right. Visit or visit? Restaurant. Visit. Visit. Excellent, you need the S, correct. He visits restaurant. restaurant and mention the specific because remember that which investigates a specific thing. Restaurant. La tecleña. Okay. <laughs> Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero. What else? Mr. Donuts. Mr. Donuts. What else? Any other restaurant? La Hacienda. La Hacienda. Restaurant. Ah, okay. Picnic. La Pampa. Picnic. Picnic. Ah, okay. You're hungry. <laughs> Celeste Imperio. Celeste Imperio. Ah, ok. Interesting. La pupusería okay. de la colonia. Ah, ok. De mi cocina. De mi colonia. Mi cocina. <laughs> My house. <laughs> Have you heard that there is a famous restaurant which is called El Moscodromo? Have you heard? Ya la voy a escuchar. Ah. <laughs> Pupusodromo. El Pupusodromo. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Let's suppose that this one. <laughs> el moscodromo. He visits <laughs> el moscodromo. El moscodromo. Can you imagine a lot of flies? Solo moscas ahí, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> and a very popular restaurant. No, ese no quiero ir. <laughs> Dolor de estómago me va. You are going to have a stomach cake. Yes. <laughs> He visits el moscodromo every day. Son los que más se llenan. Right. Ah, pues si se llena es porque es bueno, entonces. Ajá, así es el montón de moscas, right? Solo el nombre tiene mal. Ajá, that is correct. So he visits El Moscódromo every day. Because now you have a specific name of the restaurant. Right? Ya que dijimos que, uh, how do you say uncle? Uncle. Uncle, tío. Es tío. Tío. Uh -huh. Tío. Oh, right. Ok, gracias. You're very welcome. Ok, <coughs> questions. Questions with WH questions. Um... No questions? Y, y tía sería? Aunt. Oh, it's like this. Aunt. Aunt. It's different. My aunt. Tía. My aunt. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a video. We're going to watch it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to. Everything okay with the video? Yes. 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 Perfect. Mm -hmm. Simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. 
On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does, plus subject, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus a subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, 
share it in our discussion forums. No se escucha nada. Se le cayó la llamada a la Miss, creo. No, ahí está. Ah, no tiene audio entonces. Sí, tiene apagado el audio. Sí, ella lo tiene apagado. No, audio. Sí, Cher, no salió oye. Ahí. Hagámosle todos así. Está ocupada. Ah. Mi solicito permiso. No entendí. Okay, you watch the video. Now you saw different examples, right? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. You saw the form of the conversation, right? And also new examples. So we're going to practice this conversation. And Miss, this one is, tell una me. Una pregunta. En el video, porque antes se veía abajo la traducción y ahora se ve a un lado en azul, o solo a mí me pasa. A veces aparece al lado derecho, no, normalmente. Mm -hmm. Normalmente aparece al lado, a su lado derecho. Ajá, a mí me aparece azul. al lado derecho, en azul. Sí. Ahí deja, yo creo... va traduciendo. En azul, ¿verdad? En azul. Pero yo creo Ahí... que usted le tiene que poner el cloud caucho, eh, teacher. Porque la vez pasada nos aparecía okay. siempre abajo, pero, pero más legible. Oh, no, 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 les aparece en diferente lado, depende del dispositivo quizás. A mí siempre me aparece al lado derecho. A mí también. Igual al lado derecho. Right. Igual. Pero sí, yes. había ocasiones que salía abajo ah. de donde estudiando el... Ajá, el, el, ajá, así nos aparecía. Va cambiando. Creo que es dependiendo pero... del mosaico que se elige para poder visualizar a los demás compañeros. Ah. Las ventanas. Possible. Ajá, las ventanitas. To check, the, uh, to check the windows, right? Okay. So in our conversation, we have, I get up at noon. Can you imagine here that you have, that a person get up at noon? So you have in this one, and that's the name. We're going to practice it. Let's just start with the first line. Kevin, can you start, please? Kevin? Kevin? Yeah, miss. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. With the first line. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Affirmative. Let's go. Invitation. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. That's good. Nevi, continue. Okay. okay. But just going. But, but let's go. Let's go in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Afternoon. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, okay. that's good. Continue. Let's sleep late on the weekend. On weekends. On weekend. Thank you. That's good. Kenya Vanessa, continue. What time? What time do you get up on Sunday? Very good. Nice. Maria Emilia? <laughs> o'clock. At 10 o'clock. That's correct. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa, continue. <clears throat> oh, that's early on Sunday. Early. early. On, on Sundays? On Sundays, I get up at noon. At noon. Very good. Blanca, continue. Do you? Do you eat breakfast? Ten. Ten. Very good. Nice. Aaron, continue. Sure, I have breakfast every day. 
That's correct. Thank you. Continue, Glenda. Glenda, are you there? Uh, then let's let's meet. Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They never. They serve. ¿Cómo se pronuncia serve? Serve. 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 Good. Serve breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast all day. All day. That's correct. Okay. So, do you have new vocabulary here? Observe that here you have the two types of questions. WH question, but also yes, no questions. New vocabulary. Vocabulario nuevo. Do you have new vocabulary? No, teacher. No? No new vocabulary? Okay, so I have an exercise here. We have the answer, but you are going to provide the question. And we have an example. It says, yes, I use public transportation. So the question is, do you use public transportation? These ones are yes, no questions. Yes, what will be the possible question in number two? Fernando. Does your family... Okay. Go ahead. Yes. Does your family dinner? Does your family? You need action. What's the action? Dinner. No, eat dinner. dinner. Eat dinner. Eat dinner. That's yes. right. Eat dinner. Compliment? Clock at, at five o'clock. At five o'clock. All right, that's good. And the question mark, right? Because it's an interrogative. Does your family eat dinner at five? No, my family doesn't eat dinner at five. My family eats dinner at six, at seven, so it can be a different time. Let's see number three. Evelyn, can you give us a possible question here? And number three says, no, my brother doesn't take the bus to work. Yes. Um, does your brother take the bus to work? That's good. Does. Now we have a third person. Does your brother. Let me write. Yes. Does your brother. Take. Right. Is base form or with the S? What is correct? Base. Base form, right? Because auxiliary. So eliminate the S. Take the bus to work. So the answer is no, my brother doesn't take the bus to work. What about number four? Who can help us with number four? Judy? What's the possible question here? You get up question. Left. It's a question. Perdón. Do you? Ah, that's good. Do you, mm -hmm. do you do get you? up late uh -huh. on weekend? That's good. Late on weekends. On weekend. That's good. Right. Good one. Do you get up late on weekends? No, I don't get up late on weekends. So there you have a yes, no question forms. Questions about this? What is weekend? Weekends. It's like a, the weekend. final of the week. Saturday and Sunday is the weekend. In the semana. Fin de semana. In the semana. <laughs> when you say um, weekdays like this, weekdays son los días de semana, like from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <coughs> Thursday, and Friday. So they are weekdays. Es como dicen Black Weekend, que es, es fin de ah, semana. Ah, Black Weekend, uh -huh. yes, that's true. When there is promotion, right? In November. When there is some promotion. But weekdays son los días de semana, de lunes a viernes. But weekends week. es una palabra compuesta. Week, semana. And final. Final. Ajá, uh -huh. fin de semana. Weekends, fines de semana. Mm -hmm. Plural. Any other question? 
No comprendía por qué en, la, en Sunday tenía una S, pero es domingos, Sunday. ¿verdad? Ah, oh, yes, when it's en plural, anterior, yes. En el ejercicio anterior, es domingos. Los domingos. It's like a, as it's a routine, como en simple present, normalmente uno expresa rutinas con cierta fre frecuencia. Si uno va a la iglesia los domingos, por ejemplo, if you say, I visit the church on Sundays, porque no va solo un domingo, sí. sino que los domingos. Correcto. Thank Do you. you go to the park on Saturdays? Yes, I go to the park on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Porque repite esa acción. Mm -hmm. More questions? No. No? Okay, tomorrow we continue with more practice and I send you videos. Les enviaré más videos, más ejercicios. All right. Yes, tell me. Una, fíjese de que ahora estaba haciendo la lección. Este, mm -hmm. solo que no le había entendido, pero yo pensé que era, que era contestar las preguntas, pero no era de, de, de formar bien las preguntas. Uh, maybe it was this format. Hay alguna uh -huh. que estaba el formato así como esta, que le va a dar uh -huh. la respuesta y uh -huh. ustedes deben de colocar cuál sería la posible pregunta, así como acá. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí. Entonces, pero yo me, había, yo me había confundido. Ajá, porque ajá, se, se ve un tanto confuso, ¿verdad? Porque hay que ver, ahí incluso ahí sale una que, que hay que como ordenarla. Porque está en uh -huh. desorden. Hay que formular la pregunta, ponerla en orden. Y depending on the subject, right? Depende del sujeto o el auxiliar. Lo Le que pasa a... es que yo, lo que pasa es que leí que decía que contestara, pero después decía que ordenara. Mm, ok. Ajá. You need to, like, to put in order. Solamente. More questions? Yes. Mis... Ok. Yes, tell me, Nelly. Literal 12 es, no es el 13, ya lo corroboré. It's 12, es ok. 12. Ok, good. I'm going to check it then. I'm going to check it. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Dos consultitas nada más, así rapidito. Uno, Go ahead. Este, van, a, van, a, van a darnos la confirmación de cuándo nos van a enviar lo de, las, este, lo de los certificados del primer módulo. Aún no se los han enviado, ¿verdad? A ninguno. No. No, no, no he enviado vale. nada. Ok. No. Les voy a consultar eso entonces. Porque sí quedaron en, en espera de eso. Ok. 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 I'm going to... solo, solo abonando al tema, Aaron. Yes. Eso no los mandan al correo, sino que... Sí. No, es que, a la que, es que dijeron que uno lo... Dijeron que iban a dar una confirmación, que iban a mandar una confirmación. Mm -hmm. Y que también podíamos ir nosotros a las oficinas de Insaport. Físico. Uh -huh. Ajá. Se supone que ah, a veces los pueden okay. entregar como en físico. Ah, ok. Sí, Pero les iban a detallar. Estoy, yo estoy en el de Excel, en el anterior, uh -huh. lo que hicieron fue, no me mandaron confirmación, sino que simplemente me mandaron, me lo cargaron en la, en la oh. plataforma. Ah, y ahí lo pueden descargar uno. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. A ver cómo van a hacer en, en esta ocasión, ¿verdad? Porque a veces cambian también. Depende de, de igual, la materia que se imparte. Sí. Pero igual creo que eso creo que tarda como una semana para que lo... Judy, una no pregunta. Sé. ¿Cuánto dura el de, el de Excel? 16 horas. Ah, Yo lo he recibido, me, recibí el básico de lunes a jueves. Fueron cuatro semanas, 16 horas. Hoy estoy en el intermedio, igual son 16 horas y van de lunes a jueves. Ok, gracias. Good. Igual este, ¿verdad, Miss? Va a ser... Four van hours. A ser, van a ser hasta el jueves, me estaban diciendo a mí que no yes. va a ser viernes. Sí, ya lo, cambi lo cambiaron. Solo Ajá. fue el primer mes así, como por la por, vacación también, ah, sí, ¿verdad? Que se extendió. Ajá, se extendió, pero ahora ya va a ser lunes a jueves, pero siempre son 16 horas. Es la misma cantidad de, de sesiones. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. La misma cantidad. So, le voy a tener ese dato entonces mañana. Le voy a investigar mañana de los certificados. Ok, teacher. Ok, gracias. Thank you so much, guys. Good Have night. a beautiful night. Sweet, Sweet dreams. dreams. Sweet, Sweet dreams, dreams, everyone. Good night. Dream. Bye. Dream with the angels. Bye. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.